you guys welcome back to my channel hello if you're new so today we are going to do the october budget setup and you guys look how far through the year we are can you believe that it is so crazy obviously my planner is show, starting to show uh not starting it is it has definitely through the pages shown wear and tear um but i'm very excited to show you guys this so this is September. We're currently in September. We've already done that. And as you guys can see, if you compare, if you remember um, where my September calendar looked like, it's definitely filled up. We are on track for meeting our goal of 160. I'm now 163, you guys. Consistently, when I weigh myself once a week, I'm very excited about that. Um, but this is, this is definitely filled up. So now we can go October where it has not quite filled up as much yet, but I do have things on here. So for October, let's first look at our top three. I want to lose five pounds, which you guys can see here would put me at 155. My goal is around 150 to 155. So I am slowly reaching that goal. Um, I want to pack up our house. It is finally happening. We will be moving end of November, beginning of December. So it's time to start packing the house. Our, my entire front bedroom, if you guys have not noticed, I haven't been in the office lately. And that's because that entire room is full with empty boxes, full boxes and things for us to move. And I'm in the process of getting my name changed now that I have married and we've closed on our home uh, loan, I can do the name change. Um, we, I have a goal of reading three books, decluttering as I pack the house, so these two will be happening together, and to finish painting my living room slash hallway just so it's done when we move out, not halfway done. And it says, when you can't find the sunshine, be the sunshine. So that's kind of, I am trying to be more positive this year. This conveniently happened. Um, this past month has been really rough, so let's see what we can do in October. So first off, starting, as you guys know, my grandma's days are always on Wednesday, so I've already marked those off in my calendar. I've put any permanent non-movable appointments, such as my hair appointment, my chiropractor, and I'm getting a new social security card. I have to take in my marriage license, my driver's license, and all of that um, to submit to the social security office. So I have that scheduled. And then I filled in, like, I have a gender reveal for someone, I have a baby shower for someone else, and so things have just filled in. I only have one birthday in October. After the amount of birthdays I had in September, I'm definitely excited to see that number going down. And then I have the pre-scheduled videos in October, leaving two that I have to come up with. Um, I already believe I know which one is going to go here, so I just need to figure out which one goes here. Um, so all of that is already scheduled. And I, of course, put those in my calendar. And then right here, you can see I've already started outlining my week. Um, so each week on the grandma's day, I split the day in half and I'll put what I need to do for her. Um, so this coming Wednesday, when I have my day with her, I will kind of go through the next month with her. Every day I have a goal of doing 50 jumping jacks and reaching 10,000 steps. I'm doing better with the jumping jacks, not so great with the 10,000 steps, but we are making progress. So all of those are in there. And I already know that on Tuesday, I need to get money for my church for the month. And that's kind of what I've got down um, so far. You guys may not may notice if you have seen my past couple of plan with me videos that I don't have my cleaning schedule in here like I have had these past couple of weeks. And the main reason for that is because in October, I'm going to finish out September, and in October, I'm going to decide whether that schedule has truthfully been working for me or maybe I need to move the days around. So I will fill in my cleaning schedule in October once we get closer to the end of September so I can analyze how that is working. Um, but overall, this September has really filled out, and so I imagine that most of these will fill out. For example, I just got a notification that I have something to do on the 14th if I so choose. Um, I haven't decided whether I want to do that or not. So it just kind of depends on what's going on that weekend and what I decide to do. But that's kind of how I handle that. And then another thing 
is in the back I always keep all the stuff that I've got to do so for example I've got to send this stuff out in the mail there's three things here I've got to go to my bank right here and this is money for something specific. So anything that I ha can fit in here that goes along with my to-dos goes in here. Ideally, this has been a great planner and I'm really excited to continue updating my planners as we are getting into October coming up soon. I need to decide whether um, this calendar works for me. I have three other calendars I'd love to try. Um, which obviously could take the next three years unless I absolutely hate one of them. So I am excited. I am going to keep this calendar and kind of decide what has worked best for me in my life. Um, for sure, this has been fantastic. And I definitely still keep a digital calendar. And that's something that you guys should know is I still keep a digital calendar, um, even with all of this in here, um, because I need reminders for things. Um, but and so some people kind of are like, well, you're keeping two calendars. Yes, I am. Um, but a lot of the stuff like the baby shower my husband will go to, so I send him an invite for that. Things and birthdays, they're every year, so I can keep track of that. And then the smaller stuff like the 50 jumping jacks and things like that, I don't keep in my daily planner or my Google calendar. Um, I just keep in this one. So that's kind of how I've decided to keep my calendar and it seems to be going pretty well. So thank you guys so much for watching my October plan with me. I'm definitely really excited to explore the calendar going forward and to see what October has for us laid out. I'm definitely thinking that this month is going to fill up quickly. Um, obviously we have two weeks left in September, so there is time for this schedule to completely fill out, uh, but definitely need to set aside time to start packing as I'm gonna be moving somewhere in here or somewhere in here. So definitely need to get prepared for that and start this process. October has to be the month that I start packing because I know that the holiday season is going to be crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.